Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Deuteronomy 23 to 29, Proverbs 6 and Psalm 132. Let's get started. No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is crushed shall enter these unbeautiful. No one born of four bitter women union may enter these unbeautiful. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants may enter these unbeautiful. No Ammonite or Moabite may enter these unbeautiful. Into the tenth generation, none of them may enter the land so both will offer up, as they do not eat you with bread or um, with water on the way. When you came out of Egypt, because they hired against you, Baal and the son of Beal, who am Pethel and Mesopotamia to curse you. As the Lord your God will not listen to Baal, and instead the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing for you. As the Lord your God loved you, yeah, loved you, you shall see their peace and their prosperity. All your days forever. You shall not abhor an enemy, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, because you are so generous in his land. Jim Watson in the third generation may enter the assembly of the Lord. And you are encamped against your enemies, you should, and you shall keep yourself from every evil thing. And if any man among you becomes unclean because of a nocturnal remission, then you shall go outside the camp, you shall come inside the camp. When the evening comes, you shall be himself from one. And as the sun sets, may come into the inside the camp. You shall place outside the camp, and you shall go back to it. And you shall have to trial with your tools when you sit inside. You shall dig a hole with it and turn back and cover your excrement. As the Lord your God walks in the midst of your camp to deliver you and to give you enemies before you, therefore your camp must be hollow so he may not see anything indecent among you and turn away from you. You shall not give up to his master. <coughs> <coughs> give up to his master, a slave who has escaped from his master too. You shall die with the enemies. In the place that he shall choose from, and then when he turns wherever it suits him, and he shall not wrong him. None of the daughters of Israel shall be a cold prostitute, none of the sons of Israel shall be a cold prostitute. You shall not bring the creative prostitute of the way, or the wages of the dog into the house of the Lord your God in payment for any wrath. For both these are an abomination to the Lord your God. You shall not charge the chest of the lives to the interest on money, interest on food, interest on anything that is life interest. You may charge your four names in chest, but you may not charge your brother in chest. Uh, uh, the Lord your God may bless you, but you may take me. You may not take possession of it. If you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay for filling up, for the Lord your God will show you a fire of you. This year, you will be good as If you are afraid from God, you will not be good as You shall be careful to do what is false of us. You shall voluntarily, voluntarily vow to the Lord your God. Uh, you have promised to him that you are going to tell me what you Eat your fellow grace and things you wish. You may not, you shall not put any in your back. You go into your name and stand on grain. You may block the ears with your hand. You shall not put a sickle to your name and stand on grain. When a man takes a wife and marries her, and she finds him a favor in the eyes, uh, because his eyes, because he's found some indecency in her. And he writes a certificate to us and puts it in the hands and out of his house. And she departs out of his house, and then she goes and becomes another man's wife. And the latter man hates her and writes a certificate to us. And puts in her hand and stands her out of his house. When the man, man dies, he took her to be his wife. Then her former husband, he sent her away. He not take her again to be his wife after she is being defilled. Now there is no abomination before the Lord. And you shall not bring sin upon the man, for the Lord your God's going to be to have sin. And if a man is nearly married, he shall go out with her. And it will be liable for any other public duty. He shall be free at home one year to be happy with his wife, whom he is doing. No one shall take a mural up and will stand in touch. They will be taking their life in touch. If man is found stealing on his house to other people, he will be treated as a slave and says, And that if he shall die, so he shall push the from the rest. Take care, in case the leper is so to be very careful to do according to all that the Lord will be shall direct you. As I command, so he shall be careful to do. The mural of the Lord God did to Miriam on the way as a king out of Egypt. When you make a neighbor alone of any soul, you shall not go into his house to collect his pledge. You shall stand outside the man to him away to the shall bring the pledge to you. If he is a poor man, you shall not sleep in his pledge. You shall restore to him the pledge as the sun says. You sleep in his cloak and bless him. You shall be righteousness for you for all. You shall not oppress a high worker who is born of you, whether he is one of your brothers or one of the students who are in you. But then you turn him. You shall give him his wages for the before the sun says, as you cry against you to the line, you be good as him. Mm. Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their father. And each one shall be put to death for his own sin. For his own sin. You shall not prove that the justice due to the children or to the fathers, or take away his garments and pride. You shall remember that you are slave and you do not love your God, redeem you from that. Therefore, I command you to do this. When you reap your hearts and your food, and forget a sheep from the field, you shall not go back to God. You shall be for the children, the fathers, and the widow, and the Lord will come and bless you, and will love you. 
comment, and your video, or check the news, and you should know how to go over them again. Shall be for the decision and the father listen to the widow, and you got the grace to the real thing, and you shall not strip after. It shall be for the decision and the father's the and the father less than the widow. Shall remember that you are slave in that age. And if I command you to do this, if there is a dispute between the men and they come to court, and the judge is the same between the acquainted and um, acquainted and the innocent and condemning the guilty, then if the guilty man deserves to be beat and beaten, and the judge shall cause it to mind and be beaten in his presence with a number of strikes in proportion to his offense. Where the strikes may be given him, but no, lest the one should go on to beat him with more strikes than they the brother be degraded in the other. Shall not muzzle an ox when it is treading at the way. If brothers dwell together and one of them dies, it has no son. The wife of the dead man shall not be married as if only to a judge. The son and brother shall go in turn and take his wife and form the duty of husband's relative. And the first son whom she bears shall succeed to him his dead brother. His name may not be blotted out of Israel. If the man does not wish to take his brother's wife, and his brother's wife shall go up to the gate to the elves. The same as his my brother, husband's brother refused to perpetuate his brother's name in Israel. They will not perform the duty of her husband's brother to me. And the others, the sea shall call him and say to him, and speak to him, and if he persists, saying, I do not wish to take him, and his brother and I shall go up to him in the presence of the elders, who will send off his foot and spill it in his face. And she shall have an answer and say, So it shall be done to the man who does not build up his brother's house. And the nearest house shall be called in Israel, the house of him who has the same will called up. And the men fight with one another, and the wife of the one draws near to rescue her husband. And the hand of him is beating him, and puts out her hand to and sees him by the private parts, and he shall cut off her hand. And I shall have no pity, and you shall have not have in your back two kinds of ways, the large and the small. And you shall have again in your kind two kinds of measures, the large. You shall not have in your house two kinds of measures, the large and small. A full and fair way you shall have, a full and fair measure. You shall have within your days, may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. For all who do such things, all who are dishonest, are an abomination to the Lord your God. I remember what Amalek did to you on the way as you came out of Egypt, how he attacked you on the way when you were faint and weary and carved your tail. Those who lagged behind you, and he did not fear God. Therefore, when the Lord your God has given you rest, given you rest from all your enemies around you, then that is the Lord your God has given you for inheritance to possess. You shall blow out the memory of Amalek from under him. You shall not forget. And when you come to learn that the Lord your God has given you for inheritance, and take possession of it and live in it, you shall take some of the fruit of the first of all the fruit of the ground. Which you harvest from your land that the Lord your God is getting, and you shall put it in a basket, and you shall go to the place that the Lord your God will choose to say any his name to dwell. And you shall go to the priest as an officer at that time, say to him, I declare to say to the Lord our God that I have come to land, and the Lord's will will try to give us, and the priest shall take the in a basket from your hand, and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall make your repentance once before the Lord your God. The Lord your God made it was my father, and he went down into Egypt. And so John, a few in number, and there he became a nation, great and mighty and popular. And the Egyptians treated him harshly and humiliated him, and laid on his heart, but he cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers. And the Lord heard his own voice and saw our affliction and told him our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and asked yourself, with great deeds of terror, with signs of wonders, and he brought us into his place and blessed us now. And the land flowed with milk and honey, and behold, now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground, which ye, O Lord, have given me. And you shall say it down before the Lord your God. Worship before the Lord your God. And you shall rejoice in all the good that the Lord your God is doing. And has given to you and to your house and you and the Levi. And so Jonah who was among you. When you finished paying all the tithe, you had purchased in the third year. You should eat your tithe and give it to the Levi. This is Jonah the fatherless and the widow, so that they may eat within your towns. And you shall say it before, and before the Lord your God. I have remained to take a portion of my house and more. I have given it to the Levi. This is Jonah the fatherless and the widow. According to all. According to all that you know, command, and you have commanded me, I have not transgressed in any of your commands, nor have I fallen. I have not eaten of the tithe while I was at the money, or removed any of it while I was unclean, or offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the voice of the Lord my God, and I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Look down for your holy habitation from heaven, and bless your people Israel, in the ground that you have given us. I swore to our fathers, and then fled from the Lord my This is the the Lord your God commands you to do these statutes and laws. Shall therefore be careful to do them with all your heart, with all your soul. And you have declared today that the Lord is your God, and that you are walking his ways, and keep the statutes and commandments of the Lord. And will obey his voice, and the Lord. And the Lord has declared today that you are people for the most treasured possession, as he promised you, and that you are to keep all his commandments. And that he has set you in the praise, and the fame, and the honor, and the high above all nations. That he is made, and you shall be a people holy to the Lord your God, as he promised. Now, most of the elders of Israel commanded the people 
And you say, keep the whole commandment and like, like, like maybe today. And on the day you cross the river, and then don't the land of the Lord your God is getting. She has said, Lodge ten pasta them with pasta. And, and you shall ride on the mode of life with this law. When you cross the river to enter the land of the Lord your God is getting. The land for milk and honey. As the Lord of the God your father has promised you. And you have crossed over the river. You shall set out these ten crowns, setting which I command you today. On the mount of the devil, and you shall have. Last and never fast, and in there you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, and altar of stone, and you shall be on their iron torn, you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, and you shall sacrifice his offerings such as either, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, and you shall write all the stones all the words of all the words of this law very plainly. And most in the Lord the Lord said to Isa, He is silent and he is this day you have become the heap of the Lord your God. And so therefore I obey the voice of the Lord your God, keeping his commandments and his statutes which I command you today. And that day most charged people say, And then you cross over the John, and you shall stand on the Mount Gerizim to most people, Samaria, Levi, Judah, Isaac, Joseph, and Benjamin. And they shall stand on Mount Abel for the curse of Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zell, and Dan, and Naphtali. And Levi shall declare to all the men, Isaac, and Levi's, Let us be the man who makes a car to cross it on Mount Abel, an abomination to the Lord, a thing made by the hands of God's men, and sets it up in secret. And the people shall answer and say, Amen. And then he cursed me, Aaron, and saw his father and his father and his mother. Or his mother. But all the people shall say Amen. And I say Amen and moves his neighbors and the neighbors like him up. And all the people shall say Amen. And I say Amen and he slays him on the neighbor. And all the people shall say Amen. And I say Amen and he provides the justice due to the surgeon and the father. Anyway, and all the people shall say Amen. And I say Amen and he lies with the father's wife. And because he's uncovered his father's nakedness. And all the people shall say Amen. And I say Amen and he lies with the incarnate animal. And all the people shall say Amen. Because we Amen and lies with this. Sister, then the, whether the daughter is son or daughter's mother, and then he was just saying, <coughs> Amen. There must be anyone who lies with his brother in law, mother in law, and all the people shall say, Amen. There must be anyone who strikes down with his, his neighbor and sees him. All the people shall say, Amen. And there must be anyone who takes a bribe to shed innocent blood. All the people shall say, Amen. There must be anyone who doesn't confirm the words of by the Lord, this Lord by doing it. And all the Hebrews shall say, Amen. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, then you have to do all those commands I command you today. The Lord your God will set you high above the nations, all the nations of the earth. And all these lessons that I'll come upon you and um, overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, then shall you be in the city, and thus shall you be in the fruit, thus shall be the fruit of your way, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your account. And they increase your heads and the young of your flock. They shall be your block and your name, but thus shall you be when you come, and thus shall you be when you go. The Lord cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you in one way and pray for your sadness. And the Lord command the blessing upon you and your bonds and your body under you. And the Lord bless you in the name of the Lord God's you. And the Lord establish you as people holy to himself. I just want you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his face. And all the peoples of the earth shall see that you and have called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord make it better and prosperity. And the fear of you and the fear of you are master. 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 And the Lord open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land. And season and to bless all the work you had. And all the work you had. Uh, and you shall learn to make you shall be sharp. And the Lord will make you the better head, head of, and not the tail. And you shall not run in uh, when you go out and not die. You have made the commandments of the Lord, which I command you to be careful to do. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words I command you to, to right hand to the left, to go after other gods to serve. If you will not obey the voice of the Lord, you will be careful to do all his commands and all his statutes that I command you to. And all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. And shall you be in the sea, and curse shall you be in the field. And it shall be your basket and your new world. And it shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your good. Increase your heads and the end of the world. And it shall you be when you come, and curse shall be you when you go. The Lord will send you curses, confusion, and frustration, and really undertake to do. Until you are destroyed and perish quickly on account of the evil of your deeds. And you have a second need. The Lord will make the pestilence stick to you until it's consumed you off from it. And you are entering to take possession of it. And the Lord will strike you with wasting seeds and with fever, inflammation, fire, heat. And with drought and with blight and with mildew, you shall pursue you until you perish, and the heavens over your head shall be bronze, and the earth under you shall be iron. And the Lord will make the rain and air and powder, and the heaven dust shall come down on you until you are destroyed. And the Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will go out one day against them and flee seven days before. And you shall be a horror to all the kings of the earth, and your dead body shall be free for all the birds of the air and for the beasts of the earth, and there shall be no one to find the earth. The Lord will strike you with the boils of Egypt, and the tumors and scabs and air. 
in which you cannot be healed. No strength with madness and blindness and confusion. And you shall grip at noon day as the blind, the blind grip in darkness. And you shall not prosper in your ways. And you shall only be be only a person and will continue. And there shall be no one to help you. You shall be trusted away. And when not a man shall rush you, you shall but you shall build a house, but you shall be on it. You shall plant a wood, but you shall not enjoy its sweet. Your heart shall be slaughtered before your eyes, and then you shall not eat any of it. Your donkey shall be seized before your face, but it shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given to your enemies, and there shall be no one to help you. Your sons and daughters shall be given to another people. While your eyes look on and fail with longing for them all to be well, they shall be helpless. The nation that you have not known shall eat the fruit of your ground of all your labors. They shall not be only oppressed and crushed continually. For you that you are driven mad by the slaves that your eyes see. The Lord will strike you on your knees and on your legs with grievous spores, of which you cannot be healed. And on the soul of your foot to crown your head. And the Lord will bring you in your king who will sit over you to a nation that night you have your fault in it. And there you shall serve other gods of war. And instead, they shall not come home with prophet and abide with them, all the people, and the Lord will lead you away. You shall carry my seed in the fear, and shall gather them. And the locusts shall consume you, and shall plant the needs and dress them. You shall neither drink of the wine nor get the grace. And the wine shall eat, and you shall, you shall have an olive tree stone on the territory. You shall not annoy you, and then you shall suffer with all. And uh, your olive shall drop off, you shall fall the sons and daughters, and they shall not be yours, and they shall grow into captivity. The cuckoo shall possess all the trees and the fruit of you. He said, Jenna, who is among you, shall rise high and high above you, and he shall come down low and low. He shall lend you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. And with these curses shall come upon you, and pursue you, and overtake him to your destruction. And because uh, he did not obey the voice of the Lord, you know, God, to keep his commandments and statutes that he commanded you. And he shall be a sign of wonder against you, and your offspring forever. And offspring forever. Because you do not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, and because of the abundance of all things. And if we shall serve you, and make sure the Lord, whom the Lord sent against you, in hunger and thirst, and nakedness, and lacking everything. He will put a yoke of iron in your neck until he is destroyed. And the Lord will bring a nation, bring <coughs> a nation against you from farming, from the end of the year, sweeping down like you. And a nation whose language you do not understand, a half faced nation. And you shall not respect the old shame that's to you. And you shall eat the offspring of your cattle, and the fruit of your ground, until you are destroyed. And you shall, and the rest of shall not leave you good. And one another, and the increase of your heads are you none. Know, you fall, until they cause you to perish, and shall besiege you in all your contents, until your high and full heart walls, and which chest shall come down through all your land. And you shall besiege you in which chest through all your land. And the Lord your God is given you, and you shall eat the fruit of your way. And the flesh of your sons and daughters, and the Lord your God has given you, and the siege and the chest of good gentlemen shall distress you. And when it is most tender, you will find among you a royal begrudge for you. To his brother, to the wife he embraced, and to the last of the children whom he has left, so that he will not give any to, to any of them any of the flesh of the children whom he has eaten, because there is nothing else left. In seizure and distress with which your enemy shall distress you in all your time, there is tender and fine woman among you, she who would not venture to the soul of her foot in the ground, because she is so delicate and tender, who will begrudge to her husband she embraced, to her son and to her daughter, her afterbirth that comes out from between her feet, and her children whom she bears, because lacking everything she will eat them secretly. And. <coughs> <coughs> And the siege and the distress with which your enemy shall distress you in time. If you are not careful to do what they want, it means that this law that I written in the book, uh, you may fear this Christ and listen to me. The Lord your God, then love will bring on you in your God. Offspring extraordinary afflictions, afflictions severe and lasting, and sickness is grievous and lasting. He will bring them upon you again, all the disease that you do, which you are afraid they shall come to you. Every sickness, every sin, every sin, every affliction. <coughs> <coughs> That's not recorded in the book of this law, nor will bring upon me until you feel, until you destroy him. Whereas you are as numbers as stars have, shall be left few in number because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And as you do, the Lord took delight in doing you, and multiplying you. So the Lord will take the delight and bring you on upon you and destroy you. Shall be plucked off the land and let you enter and take possession of it. And the Lord will scatter you among all peoples from one end of the earth to the other. And there you shall serve other gods of wind and stone. And you shall neither you nor your fathers know. And among these nations you shall find no respite, and there shall be no resting place for the soul of your foot. The Lord will give you their trembling heart and failing eyes and languishing soul. Your yeah, right. life shall hang out before you, and they shall be enjoyed, having no assurance of your life. In the morning you shall say, Friendly, or evening, and the evening you shall say, Friendly, or morning, because of the dread that your heart shall feel, and sorrows that your eyes shall see. And the Lord will bring, back, bring you back in ships to Egypt, the journey that I promise. No, I promise that you will never make again. And then you shall offer yourselves for sale to your enemies, as men and female slaves, but there will be no buyer. Psalm, Proverbs 6. Um, 
Okay, so if you put up security for you, you have given your pleasure to stand. If you stand in the woods and you're not caught in the woods, you can't taste my son and save yourself. If you've come into a hand, you need very hasty and pity, you're urgently with your name. Maybe your eyes need to stay in your eyes next time. Saving yourself like the zelf in the hand of the hunt, like a bird from the hand of the hand of the fowl. The eighteen years like you can say the ways and be wise. Without having any chief or silver, she prays for bread and some, and gathers the food and harvest. How long will you lie there? It's like a woman who arrives from the ship. And when we arrive, so we stay. No, they'll stay. 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 they will stay 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 they Go and punish. He will do not suffice thief will be seized. Satisfies after everything he's done. If it's caught, he will be sent for. Then he will give all the goods to his house. He commits a lot of acts. In a sense, he doesn't destroy the house. He will get some wounds and so on. And his grace will not be worried away for jealousy makes a man fear. And that's better when he takes revenge. He will accept my conversation. He will refuse their wants by gifts. Psalm 132. I remember the Lord and David said, All the hardships he endured, how he swore to the Lord. I will add to the money when I take. I will not enter my house again into my bed. I will go to sleep to my house, slumber to the money on this. I try to find a place for the Lord and dwell in a place for the Lord that he wanted to take. Before we heard of it in my father, found in the fields of Jar. Let us go to a stormy place. Let us wash in his foot. I rise alone and go to your resting place. You and the dark, you and my. I had a priest who cries with righteousness. Let me sing, shout for joy. I will say, Here's our day. Do not turn away your face to the anointed one. I will swear to day with short eyes, from which you will not turn back. Well, this is your your son, your son. If your son's given my covenant and my testimony is that I shall teach, your son's best for forever shall serve me. For the Lord's chosen son, he's desired it for his dwelling place. It's my resting place forever. There I will do if I have desired. I will abundantly bless her possession, provisions. I will satisfy her poor bread, his priest shall clothe the salvation, and his angels shall shuffle joy. Therefore, I will make a hole in the spot for David. I will prepare the land for my anointed. His enemies will clothe the shame, but on him his crown will shine. Now the stand, there's no end to the Lord's bed. He's very handsome, Father, and time will be on there. You can come, you'll be done, that thirst is in hell. You'll stay our day, but the girls are dead, she is the free of the Duchess. There's no temptation to reverse the evil one. She's the king and the power of the glory of the Amen. Each bar. Bye.